Hello there. This is a supplemental video to go with what I was speaking about on the 10 pence arcade podcast. This is a JAMA BZF J Rock board. It plays Berserk, both kinds of Berserk, fast bullets, slow bullets, and Frenzy. It's an FPGA board and it works on JAMA, which is the normal standard 15 kilohertz monitor, but it also works if we look on this bit here. It's got VGA enable on it. You can run it on a VGA screen. It will output to VGA. And the newer boards have actually got a port on them to plug straight into a VGA monitor. But this one hasn't. So what you have to do, and this is what I was talking about on the podcast, is you have to get an existing jammer loom, like so. This is just um, the power, grounds, grounds, and the video, that's all it does. It's just for testing video on a game. That's the part side as well. So all your power's down here. It's not wired up for minus five volts because this board doesn't need it. And it's just for testing purposes. So what I've got to do is wire one of these, which is a VGA plug, female plug, to the jammer loom. So you've got pin one, I'm reading from my trusty pad here, is red, pin two is green, pin three is blue, and on the second end down, the middle section, pin six is ground, uh, seven, eight, and 10 are also ground, but I don't think I need to wire all of those up, just six will do it, because the other one should be internally grounded. And on the underside, right in the center, which I've already tinned, is pin 13, which is sync. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'll let you watch, because people seem to like people soldering for some reason. I don't know why. I find it incredibly tedious, unless someone's really good at it. So we're going red first. My soldering iron round. Not enough solder on that, mate. Not enough solder. There you go, that's better. Quite close together, these pins as well. It's red. And we want blue, which is a red and blue wire on my wires. And then you got green. I'm just going to snip that. Uh, off my neck is hindering me somewhat. Get out of you. Now, get me green on. Whoa, it's, whoa, tentacles. It's green. And we've got the second one down, which is this one here, which is going to be ground. Underside for sink. Dole, get in there, you. I think it's blue and white on my in my case. So that's that. So now we can power it all up and try it out. Check to check it out. So you got your board. Here. Sure it's all on correctly. It is. VJ is enabled. We have a mana core, which I'm going to just plug into this here. Is that where we're at? Yes. 
And we also have a switch and power supply, all wired up, and a 17 inch Dell CRT monitor. So let's have a look at the action, shall we? So if I plug in, the monitor's already plugged in and it's on standby. And this plug here is for the power supply behind the game board. Ooh. Oh, oh, hello. Yes, look at that. It's not quite in the center. Pretty good to me. Yep, it's pretty good. So what I'll do now is um, test the monitor I did buy, which is a 14 inch one, which is in the, in the shed at the moment, and see if this little loom will work on it, because it wasn't working when I did it before with another loom I made up. So this is a slightly newer monitor, maybe it's something to do that, but I shouldn't think it would make any difference. So that is how you do a quickie setup for a VGA game. But it's got to output it from the board. You won't just work on a VGA monitor. You have to output, and that's what that VGA enable was for. There you go. Hey, did you make see the mistake I made? I wired it up red, blue, green. It should be what it is there: red, green, blue. <gasps> so it looked a bit funky. Did you spot that? And here's what it should look like. There you go. If we give the look of the camera, it's just because it's the CRT we're looking at. Da -da. Let's put some money in. There you go. Blue backgrounds. Green man, yellow monsters. Oh, yeah. If you look carefully, that's had the scan lines turned on as well. So it looks even better on a PGA. Lovely.